Tokyo Bureau Thanks. earlier on Friday, and you'll be seeing uh, CNN producer Junko Ogura running to her desk. Show the lady under the desk. That's some 400 kilometers away from the epicenter. That was what the earthquake looked like, what it felt like in Tokyo earlier today. And the tremors lasted for several minutes. Anna. Because we talk a lot about the size and, and scope of earthquakes. Where does this one rank? Okay, well, let's bring up another map for you. There's no question that this earthquake is a major event. It is one of the largest in Japan's history. The initial quake measuring a magnitude 8.9 is officially qualified as a great quake. A quick magnitude not directly tell you how much damage has been caused. Now, but by looking at various ranges, you can get some sense of what to expect. Now, starting the sixes, earthquakes already quite strong and potentially destructive. But when you reach the sevens, they become major, major events, generally causing serious damage over larger areas. Now, in the eighth, which is what we're reporting on right now, which is what happened in Japan. The quake was 8.9 in magnitude today. The damage, it goes across hundreds of kilometers. Anna, let's get back to you. Christy, thank you for that. Well, let's return to uh, NHK, the public broadcaster, and this is in Shiba Prefecture. Now, there has been extensive damage recorded across Japan after this earthquake. In Miyagi, in the north of Japan, building oh and car left. The Murrah's in city, hit by repeated tsunamis. That's the footage you're seeing right now. Police say an unknown number of people are missing in many cities where tsunami waves of up to seven meters tall swept through low-lying coastal areas. So now you're seeing a footage from the Sendai Airport in northern Japan. The airport has... Okay, we now want to go to our Ivan Cabrera, who is uh, standing by. Ivan, as we uh, mentioned a little earlier, uh, Taiwan is being hit by that wave. Any reports of damage? Yeah, when you were talking to that gentleman there in uh, Taiwan, he's basically uh, essentially trying to tell you that uh, there's no way for them to know uh, the...